Hi guys and welcome back. We're here with another episode of our uh, Wrath of Sparta campaign on Rome 2 with myself and Scrim. Hello. And I think this is like episode 20 possibly, maybe 19. I'm not sure. I think it might be uh, 20. Episode something or episode other. Episode something or other. And anyway, in the last episode... powering episodes, through. And in the last episode before that, uh, we lost... I lost Lorien. So I'm having to re retake it next turn. Indeed. And, and me, I'm a... Yeah, me and Scrim have had a tactic. He's going to move his army, one of his uh, navies, to Lorien to support... Support the advances there. Because he's got enough stuff. He's going to be safe for at least one more turn. Um, mm. Before Rhodes comes up with that huge, uh, it just stack. means I'll be stuck with a nine a nine stack navy. But my armies are well stocked in defensive positions and with very decent units. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to um, just defensive measures. Yes. Uh... Now I've got a predicament. Mm -hmm. I, I, I thought I'd attack the armies going towards Larissa, and I've just noticed Athens have brought up a, a, a full stack. Now I can't attack any of their armies, and there is currently. 19, plus 5, plus 20, all on Larissa. Oh, no. <laughs> now, I've got my elite stack here, but I need to be very, very careful because I don't know what to do. The only thing I've got is extremely elite units versus the very unarmored units. But um, I think I have to move my army to Larissa. So this could be the grand defense of Larissa. This is probably the biggest battle we're going to do in the campaign because that's four armies now. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be excellent. That's... That's, a, that's a lot of things for you to play with there. You've got... Um, <sighs> <laughs> what have you got to play with, Pope? You've got your favourite Argonian actman. You've got yes. light hot plights for days. Oh, you've got a little bit of cavalry. Two of my favourite units. Got, <laughs> you've got everything you could desire. Oh, you've got um, maybe tw 10 javelinmen kicking about, plus the axemen 15. Yeah. This is going to be a big battle. If they decide to attack me, they might not. Yeah. Who knows? I mean, if you if bring... They decide, say, yeah. You need to uh, if you bring your navy over to Lorien, then we can actually have a battle as well. Where we're fighting on the same side for once. Yeah, that'd be interesting. I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to leave it just outside Lorien. Um, e yep. Okay, that navy's now moving. That'd be a bit, that'd be a first proper navy battle as well. I think. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm probably just going to assault the uh, and blockade it, and then um, we can just yeah. Oh, I guess it depends what Athens does. If Athens decides to land, then yeah. But if not, then we. Let's have a naval battle, yeah. Who knows? We'll I'm just out. building up my army. Oh, actually, I should probably build something because I'm in the stage where I was going to build some big capital buildings. Maybe an idea. So if I save my money there, I can build up Phoebia with a megapolis. Oh, very nice. I that don't works. think I've even done Corinth. Like, oh no, Corinth has got that, but I've not got oh, no, megapolis actually, yet. I just realized I'm going to do Calchas instead because that's extra public order. That might be an idea. That's my more powerful settlement as well. Although, Phoebe, I'll decide later. I think, actually, you know what? I'm going to concentrate. And once I've got my made, once I've got my free super stacks... What are you going to concentrate on, sorry? Concentrate on building my armies. Because once I've got free super stacks, I can concentrate on just dominating. And then building up what I've got left over. So, I need to build another horseman unit. So, I'll get rid of that. I'll do that. So, that's four horsemen. That's two archers, two javies. Need one more javelinman. And then I should have three slots for five, six, seven, yep, eight, nine, ten. So that'll be more hoplites. And that'll be my next super stack, which I'll push forward to Oreos as my next defensive position because I need to ensure I hold the, uh, I hold Faseya. Okay. Because that's going to be difficult. So right. anything I could do with my spy, and then that will be me. Because if I can poison the armies, that would be a benefit. What have I got here? Do I have the ability? I haven't got the ability to poison. If you what kill the I general, doesn't that stop them in their tracks as well? So they can't move for the next turn. It does. What can, what can my champion do then? So I can harass some of the units, or I can assassinate, but the, the chances are small. Hmm. Let's I've just see what I can do. Some of my armies are really assorted. Like I think I might have lost like an arch unit at one point during the war. Because I've got like three slingers and then just one random archer, like yeah. in an army. It's like my missiles, and I'm like, "What? When did I ever think this was a good idea?" <laughs> <laughs> the Sons of Ares have also realised has actually no missiles apart from the mercenary agree and axemen, but they're not like really that good missiles. They're pretty awful. Okay, I'm gonna have to grip my teeth and end my turn. Okay. Oh no! I've quickly upgraded a skill. I'm nervous. I'm nervous because this is a It'll this be... could be a really big battle. Scrim, pull yourself together. 
You'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Um, I'm joking. It's it command. Be hard. Oh, I'm not going to be fine. Thanks for your support. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to go for will. agriculture because it enables rally, and rally is always a nice build. And actually, I should probably look at my politics first. Sorry, I've just realized I've got. Ah, 26%. Uh, that's 26 is okay. It's not the end of the world, but it's not. Send diplomat plus five loyalty. Who do I need to appease? We need to appease Zeus. Let's go to Zeus, and I can't. Damn it. I can't send a diplomat. I may. Um, I may even think about going to Empire at some point. If I get the money. Because I'm earning mm. quite enough. Quite a lot, sorry. Um, I probably, like, two turns of not spending, or only spending a little, I could go to Empire, and then that gives you more loyalty to uh, your factions. Uh, yeah, in your, like, your political yeah. factions. So I may then no longer have Civil War problems that much, so... I might have to risk it for the biscuit this turn. And besides, there's only, an, only a naval unit, so if I lose a naval unit, I can live with that. Yeah. But that, you can't, because oh, that'll be your support Yeah, comp. it's party loyalty is what I had as the uh, as the edict in thingy. Uh, I can't actually oh, reach it this turn. Yeah. I can't actually reach Laurie in this turn. Have you just risked my navy for something? You can wait one more turn, because the Rhodian army can't reach you this turn. Or Rhodian navy, I should say. Yeah, I'm more concerned about the Athenian navy that's docked. Oh, right, like it attacks your navy. Mm. We well, you pull it back, and it probably won't. And then the Athens would probably pull back and attack my navy. Yeah, see what happens. We will. We'll have to see what happens. Um, I've got... Disciples of Hera are the strong... Uh, the weaker of the two. And uh, both are loyal. Um... Right, so the Disciples of Zeus only have... Oh, but this, uh, they only have him. Hera has a general and... Oh, actually, I would rather have Zeus as my general. I think, because... Champions of... Harps call the champions of Hercules. Go with that one. Okay. So you're in there. I'm get building an army of mercenaries. Mm -hmm. For this guy. Um, he's got four currently. I'll build some more actually in the next turn. But um, so that's done. We've got historiography or something like that now. I'm not sure oh, which one it was. Two more turns until I get tragedy. Yeah. Yeah, it was historiography. What did that do then? Oh, it brings political action cost down. I'm going to go for that one so it gets me shaft mine. Um, and then. I don't know how long I'll keep that army though, to be honest. It may just get got rid of in like a couple of turns yeah so we'll build a few more troops there for the navy i'm then going to send this big stack north and then i'm going to slam you into dodonna and now you're minus three put some slingers <laughs> in you're right <laughs> i just realized the general larissa is my faction leader Oh, you got a son? Yeah, it still doesn't stop the fact that my faction leader is an absolute beast in the field. Yeah, it's true. And I'm going to lose him. Not necessarily. Pull yourself together, man. I'm oh, just... and there's a rebellion coming. Fantastic. Oh, not good. <sighs> Luckily, I've got two public order buildings being built at the same time. I've got a shrine at pu plus eight public order mm -hmm. in the public forum, so that should negate that. I'm just getting a spy, so I can uh, go and scout out um, Macedon, and then I'm going to... I can't actually build... I thought you could recruit mercenary uh, boat units. Um, possibly, let me have a look. You can't. Oh, I can't. You can't. I've already, I've already can confirm you can't. <laughs> might but be depending on the province you're in. Might be. What am I building? <sighs> I'll wait on these boats. I'm going to force sail back to here. I'm bringing my 16 navy up, so we're going to be very safe on the old. Yeah, you got a garrison as well at Naxos, so. Yeah, it should be okay. And then I've still got two and a bit thousand to spend on some stuff somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Buildings. Buildings, possibly. Um, why are you minus one? Cultural differences. 
So there's minus one, we could get that equal. I could change that, make, that's minus four. Oh, <laughs> not really what I want. And break it. Um, I guess if I, and your, we'll do food. There we go, spent all my money. All right, end the turn. Okay, let's see what they're doing. Athens oh, attacked oh. my navy. Oh god, I'd retreat from that. Yeah, retreating. Retreat! If I lose this navy, I lose this navy. That's fine. Uh, they're going yeah. towards me. No, yeah, they're yeah. going towards me. Then pull back. It's fine. Yeah, I'm going to pull back. It's fine. I've got the 16 one coming up, and then if we go in again next turn, then we might all be okay. Ah, my navy's gone back to my uh, the pass, so hopefully yeah. they won't chase me because they can't. Because yeah. obviously, okay, they, stuff. they left Lorien. They just yeah. left. I'll wow. just take it. I'm yeah, I'm gonna. What strange? They're in force march as well, so I wonder where they're going with that. I'm probably just gonna disband that army then because it's kind of not really cost effective to keep it. You sure you don't want to keep it there in case um, that other settlement decides that actually I'm gonna take Athens. Oh yeah, well I'm. I'll wait. I'll maybe just keep like a general and maybe some cheap troops. I'm gonna get rid of the mercenaries because they're a lot more expensive. <laughs> I just got nervous. I realised where the Athenian navy's going it can actually attack things like um, Calchas and whatnot. Oh, uh, it might not attack. It won't attack Calchas. I don't think. I'll chase it if you want. Okay. Kokai no, I mean, Kokaira is pulling sure. away. Or Kaidoni, not Kokaira. Oh yeah, Macedonia. They're all pulling away. Where are they go? They're going towards uh, Ambrica, uh, Ambrica, and Dodona. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's because I went for an offensive. If you could chase them, then. I don't know if I can reach them, but I, I would certainly need to. But I just need to be careful that I don't lose. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, rebellion. Oh, rebellion. No, it's the risk of rebellion. Oh. It's like I can't move my army because I'll lose it. Okay. They're all in force march. Um, I think they're just confused. I'm going to... I can't risk it. Not until I get an amphitheater in there, at least. <sighs> yeah. Um, one more turn, I get... I can't chase them anyway. Okay. Well, I found the, uh, the, the 10,000s back. And flip in wherever. Um, I mean, they're not, the three stacks, or the two stacks and this very small army are still very far away, and they'll get killed off in the snowy mountains. So, Oh, they're coming through there, so I'll just cancel my troops and go back to Ambrakia and Garrison there. Yeah, you, you've got time. They're not going to be there anytime soon. Yeah, also. I'm going to hold then, because I can get some more public orders sorted. Okay. I'm, go I'm sending one army to uh, the north to go and take out um, Argos um, or Astikio or something like that. And then I'm going to try and whip around and take out a lot more of their land. Mm. I'm just thinking, should I attack? No, I can't even reach the Athenian navy. <laughs> no, no. Uh, I was going to attack him and retreat and just inflict damage, hit and run tactics, but I'm not sure. Oh, I can't I mean, reach him. So. Oh, yeah. They actually they they've merged their um, javelin units instead they have which is probably a smart move on them their general is pretty weak if you could hit him you might be able to break the rest of the unit I, I can't reach him though uh, can you not? Uh, and I'm concerned they'll sail up to Calchas but it is a walled settlement so I'm feeling fairly safe anyway that's no that's fair enough I'm probably oh, gonna... yes yeah I think I'm all right I'm, I'm gonna be very careful. yeah I'm now gonna keep my uh big uh, uh big navy in Lorien to defend there and I'm gonna send the small one down to a uh, Naxos to go and just be replace it get bigger and then uh, start doing raiding parties mm. on places again i think i'm tempted to actually force march my army to calcus now i'll just take off tax oh i'm in minus 600 damn oof okay i just realized i'm losing money that's because oh. it's winter isn't it yeah i'm down to five thousand. <laughs> oh, I, I can send you some gifts if necessary to keep your economy up uh yeah, no, I need to... Right. I'm going to cancel recruitment on this army. Mm -hmm. Calchas is... Go I'm going to force march him to Calchas. I'm going to redirect my navy to garrison. I don't have to take away tax because it's stabilised. So, I've now got garrison in Calchas. The army is where it needs to be anyway, which is north. Mm -hmm. Okay. I should be fine. You should be all right. Let's build some more units in my navy I just while want, I've got a chance. Yeah, I just want to get... I might change it to tax because currently, like, having lost that um, edict, my um, party loyalty is, like, they're fairly happy. 
This Mine's at fifteen percent. It's gone down again. I think like I'm not sure. Let me just check. So you've got our oh, political party affiliation. Ah, I see. So I was making them loyal to um the people. So like Ambrake is actually loyal to the disciples of Zeus. Everywhere else is loyal to um. The How Corinthians. can you see all that? Uh, it's on uh, if you click on. A strategic overview and then it was one of the mo modes the first ah okay yeah my my uh loyalty is mainly to um mainly to my party so that's okay the iboa seems to be um it, it's blue for some reason disciples of zeus yeah ah right i see okay Public order. that's interesting concerning you know, all my generals are on my faction. Never mind. Yes, yeah, so that's 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 the uh, so the yeah the province would rebel, I think. It's okay for now. Yeah, I think I'm okay as well. Like my rebellion chance is very very low. I want to get a shaft mine to increase my industry wealth, but I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Maybe. I need to decide. I need to get more money in basically. So go down the economy and aesthetics. One yeah, I just that's fair too. I might go for comedy after because I haven't actually got com comedy yet. I'm gonna build a shaft mine. I can't build a shaft mine; it's gonna kill me. Right, I'm gonna have to take the econ economical hit for the time being. So. Yeah. Uh, fair enough. All right. Looking my public order stabilizing, so I can actually leave my army and march it north now. Ellis is finally gone. Oh yes, I'm down to 179 on um on income. So that's brilliant. Wow. Yeah. That's ridiculous that I go from... Winter. Like, yeah, I go from 6,000 whatever just down to that in no time. It must be a reason. It must be. It must be just like, oh, yeah, everyone's gone to, like... I'm guessing it's just telling you that, like, that's the whole, like, campaign season or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, it must I'm be down to winter farming. Yeah. I'm, down, I'm now at 579. So it's a bit better, but oh, and I've also put tax back in. Um, in Aha! Put it in My tax level's at low. Ah. No wonder I've got no money coming in. Jeez. Yeah. I forgot I did that. Okay, yeah, I'll just raise my taxes next turn. Yeah. Hopefully. Oh, I no, but it. isn't it because you Boa kept revolving? Yeah. Exactly what it was. Right. So I need to. Okay, I've actually. I'm taking attrition. Because of the winter. Brilliant. <laughs> fun. It is. So fun. Right. I'm going to cancel all these slingers and I'm going to go and recruit them all in uh, oh, and break here. Macedonia sending another army south. Oh. It's okay. My huge stack's there. I'll just um, I'll intercept them. Thank you. <laughs> it's just the other three armies I can't reach and I can't risk a rebellion. It's fine. I, I'm, I'm, I haven't got the army. I'm pretty safe. I've got 14 uh, stacking and break here, and it's also got 10 garrison, of which quite a bit of it's like hoplites. You'll be all right then. Still don't need to worry about. But they're they're miles away. They won't get at least two turns, I'd say. Okay, two turns, you say. Well, I'll see. I might be able to attack this 14 stack, then move up to Dodonna. I'm trying to um, send my army, Griffin's Grace, to go and uh, attack their Macedonian homelands, so that might turn them around. And you say Dodonna is under threat, so they're coming this way. I'd say so, yeah. I'm going to go through this pass and have a look. I mean, yeah, I'm not quite sure. Where are they? Are they like near Larissa? Uh, they're to the west of Larissa. They're literally in a line. So to the left of Larissa is like a centaur. That's where the Athenian army is. And then to the south of that, beyond the river, is where the centaurs are. And then on the pathway, that's where the brothers are. That's the big stack you need to worry about, so. Okay. The other ones need to negate through the forest and stuff, so. Okay, well, I've my spy will see them first, so. We will see. Oh! It's got like a... There's like a little fly flying around my head. <laughs> go away! You weird. I genuinely thought there was going to be a massive battle for Larissa, but I think my super stack's just a bit scary for them. Eh. That's all right. Okay, I've retaken Lorien. We can do stuff. Lorien actually did have a um, a garrison place. 
It's got a barracks. Good. But a really bad one. So I might... Might, might worth keeping it there for the time being. I think Athens might have put that in place because um, I don't think I had it. I think it has. I think it's put a garrison thing there. And do I then get rid of the one in Athens though and decrease Athens's garrison? Ooh, not with that big stack kicking about. Yeah. I might keep two garrisons, see what the keep, economy... Keep them there until the threat of roads in Athens is gone. So. Yeah, I'll agree with I mean, you. I'm lucky that. I don't need to worry about that. Because I've got a, I've got garrisons and everything else for days. Mm. It's a shame I just can't move them yet because they're constantly angry with me. Yeah, I'm gonna build, rebuild those ships I was gonna build, and then, um, um, um don't know, don't really know what else I want to spend my money on. Oh, okay. you're right. <laughs> so on the bottom left-hand corner, you see the symbol for winter. Minus eighty percent wealth from subsistence. Really? That's why you lost it. It's eighty percent. Where is this? Of your economy. Just above um, where your, at uh, the very bottom left side. So if you click on a province, okay, you'll have like the free symbols. Wow. So like, yeah, eighty yeah, percent of your economy goes to hell in winter. No wonder you've lost six thousand. Yeah. Wow. So a I need bit a bit of a hit. Yeah, you just need to be a, 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 like keep a decent economy going into winter. You just need to be conscious of that. But I'm, I'm still making money, so it's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Anyway, I will end my turn, and I'm going to try and... Oh, oh, uh, Athens, oh. Okay, Athens has just moved its fleet a little bit. <laughs> a little yeah, bit. I think it's my... I'm hoping my army has deterred them from going forward. They're going to patrol starts, though. Yeah. Athens is now... Oh. What? Absolute. Athens is raiding my settlements. It's going to be a rebellion now. So. Oh, no. <sighs> Luckily, I'm building... Yeah. Hey, that's annoying. <laughs> We're building. I guess I'll be on the defensive until my other army can replenish itself to a stack. Maybe, but if you have a rebellion, okay, Macedon's moved. I'm oh, oh Macedon's yeah. moving towards you. Yeah, I've seen it. I'm having to pull back. And Athens is holding me back because of uh, rebellion stats. So yeah, this is gonna be interesting. I yeah, I've well overextended as well trying to take um, Macedon's. Like settlements to the north, but I might have to attack their fort settlement and just uh, their fort and just decide that. Right. Luckily, I've got uh, one of my. I've got tragedy now. Or oh, yeah. So my public order's improved. That's good. Uh, not going to stop a rebellion anyway. In fact, let's get rid of taxes. No, it's not going to stop a rebellion. Okay. Well, I'm going to increase taxes now because I can, and I should be really doing it anyway. I mean, the net, the army I've seen is a very small army. I think it's a literally like a three, a three stack. Yeah, I don't think it's a threat. It's just annoying. Yeah, it's just that I'm gonna have to pull back to Dodona, and I might have to go through Thessalia, just to like clear out the armies to help you, because um, I can't really advance if they're like just in your lands, mm. causing a few problems, but. I mean, it doesn't look like Macedon's starving anymore either. No, they're not. They haven't been for a while now. Yeah. Um, I need. I, I can abandon Larissa, but it might get taken. Just no. Do you, do you need to abandon it to take out Athens, or? Yeah, the only real for. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Do, I'd do it because if you say the only other army is that large Macedonian stack, then. It is no. It's not even that anymore. It's just this tiny little might of Hercules, which I don't think will be enough of a threat. Just a rebellion is then gonna. Yeah, I can't. It's gonna happen regardless. I, I might as well just go for Athens. Yeah, I can only take the centaurs out, so or see the centaurs actually. Sorry, I don't know where the yeah, other that... one is. The brothers are in the mountain pass. They are getting shafted, by the way. All the units are half strength because of the winter. Okay. They are absolutely. They are, they're all in yellow. There's maybe units. Units only got thirteen men in it. Oof. Yeah, I'm going to. Um, I'm go I'll go and sort that out in a minute then. Yeah, Larissa will be fine, I think. It'll just be a bit of an awkward defense situation, but it'll be alright. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, I'm just going to have to deal with what happens next. Ooh. The good news is, the north looks very undefended. Yes, it does, doesn't it? Um, very other, undefended. One of the other parties has organized a banquet in your capital, threatening your hegemony. Hegemony, how do you react? Boycott? Forbid? <laughs> break? Or attend? 
I'll attend it, you know? I'm just going to turn up and I'll just go, ha, what are you going to do? I'll send an en envoy to the Ismian Games. I said no, because I haven't got the money for it. I have money, but not a lot. Right, I think I'll make Dodonna in the next turn, or I'll be very, very close. So, and I might take a bit of attrition. Yeah, I took attrition. Lots of attrition. Phasalian rebels. Your friends from Phasalia are back. Oh, I have rebels, do I? No, the my, the, the uh, Alea, the faction you took it from, they're back. In Fare. Oh, right. Ah, oh, I see. Indeed. I see what you mean. They're not exactly going to stop either. That's all right. They they have a they have a settlement being done with it, but because they're not generic rebels, I have no idea what I'm dealing with. Mm. Well, I'm going to rebuild. Yeah, possible. I'm rebuilding those slingers. I'm just if they're um, going to just stand there, the ten thousand, and um, in a fort, and you say this other army is half strength. They're pretty ruined. I'm not going to lie. Oh yeah, I can see it. Um, I'm going to try and do some damage to it. Just be wary, your units will take damage if they go up there as well. Well, I'm doing some damages in the spy. Oh, okay. Um, but I failed to sabotage them, so... Oh dear. It's a 19 stack. I mean, I've got a 10 stack garrison in Ambrakia, and it's a 18, going on 18 yep. stack in there as well, so I'm, I'm pretty good, I think. Yeah, the Brothers of Xenophon... I could have actually carried on then with the Griffin's Grace. I could have gone on to Argos. Ah, well. It's better to come back and be safe, I think. Wait until winter ends as well, because your units, if I've just seen the Brothers of Zerfon, or however you pronounce it, they're yeah. nearly dead. Yeah, it's probably a smart move. Uh, winter will end very before soon. I move on as well. Yes. Winter is coming. As they say in the world of Westeros. <laughs> Indeed. Um, okay, I've secured loyalty for one. We're now at the risk of my of one, not minus one. <laughs> I'm that good. I might made them never re rebel <laughs> again. Um, no, right. Oh, I don't do want to do that. Actually, that's the entirely wrong one I wanted. I wanted a strategic, so I can look and see. Pop. Okay, yeah, it's still. Yeah, so there's no need for me actually to be putting that pop. A party popularity into a uh, Atike anymore because they just love me. Oh, I'm back at 26%. Jeez. Oof. Um, right. Anyway, I'm going to get rid of these mercenaries and I'm going to replace them with light hoplites and some slingers. There we go. And I will end the turn and we will see what what we're going into. We'll be going into March. Excellent. We can see what happens. Hopefully, winter ends. Nope. Athens has decided to run away. Yeah, a smart move. They're not just in the sea, though, from the north as well. Their army just when I moved. So they did what they had to do, I suppose, is annoy me and to get a rebel uh, rebel force. Yeah. But they're also in force march, so if I attack them, they're done. Well, I've I plan got a, to attack yeah. them. I'm just going to um, possibly wait for Rhodes to move, because Rhodes is that big stack still. So oh, they're still kicking about, are they? Yeah, it's, it's it keeps getting nearer. Scrum, it's getting nearer. <laughs> but my fleet could take it out because it's just transport. So okay. Yeah, so. No, they're moving forward. Oh, they're all. What are they doing? No, the, yeah, the Macedonians just poured into your land. Yeah, I. Oh, yeah, boring, but... I know what I'm doing. Don't worry. I, I know what I'm doing, Scrum. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll um, I'll uh, d again stop recruiting those troops. And um, I'll just... Like, ah! Did they attack you? Rebels attacked. Yeah, oh, there's, right. no, there's no way I can win this. Let's... I don't know if I'll be able Salian to... Salian League has returned. Oh, is it in Ferreira or something like that? Yeah. You, you can crush him in like a turn or two. Yeah, I just need to move in there. But I need to take out the stacks that are... Uh, yeah, I know it's a rebellion. Relax. <laughs> ah, well. Right. I can't even reach... Once again, I can't reach those big stack armies because they're in Force March, so... Go back to Occupy Larissa. It's a and shame. And then move on to Fare again. Well, we might, we might have a big battle before the, the, the game's up. I might just I might fight this yeah. uh, as Brothers of Xenophon. And then it leaves the 10,000 on their own. It's just annoying at the centaurs. My, my centaurs mm -hmm. sat there and they're losing experience because they're not fighting. Yeah. 
I'm still gonna have to pull back to Dodonna just in case Mastodon just goes, yeah, we're gonna recruit a million mercenaries and just like take Dodonna from you <laughs> and annoy you. And I'm just like, oh. There's actually nothing I can do this turn. In fact, it will take more than a, one turn to get to Far Away anyway. It's just, <sighs> what an irritating situation to be in. Mm. I could force March though and get halfway there. No, no one's gonna attack me. I just might lose Larissa. Might be a smart idea. We'll see. So it's lose Larissa and deal with the rebels. Mm. Decisions, decisions. Yeah. I think I'm gonna have to lose Larissa. Um, I haven't got much of a choice because if those rebels get too strong, then that's literally they're in the middle of my empire. Mm. You might lose Larissa. Who knows? But I mean, it's <sighs> you expanded very, very quickly in like one turn. You took all three settlements nearly. So yeah so it's kind of like acceptable almost i mean i can move my army just to oh they can't reinforce and force much can they do you not have two armies in that area then no i've only got the one uh that's, that's why i've not been very mobile with things so if i move my army just outside of larissa they can still defend and they should be able to in one turn attack far away so hopefully larissa will still be defended so i'm going to do that okay that'll be my compromise my compromise I've got no money. Oh, no politics. 6%. Oh, okay. That's fine by me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure what else I can do. Let's um, upgrade my hammers of whatever they're called. Militarist. Sorry, I'm just checking all my things. Oh, successor. I like how the Disciples of Zeus has no successor either, so he his like faction will die out. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's a good point. Can I marry him? assassinate him. Uh, no, but it just gets replaced with another one, so I might as well just leave him there to do his thing. Oh, bank! Yes, I actually got loyalty from it. <laughs> I, Happy days! I turned up. They were like, "How nice of you! <laughs> How dare you! How dare you do this!" Um, right, so we're gonna get rid of those m troops again. Uh, we're never actually gonna be able to um, build this army up to full stacks because, like, I'm gonna have to constantly just faction rises this alien league. Okay. Yeah, they're back. Not for long, though. Not for long. We shall kill them all. Right. Um, I will get some Rodian Slingers and some... Cav. To match that Cav. Right, I have... I don't know whether I want to fight this. What's the odds? What, what do I get? Seven... I think I could do better than that. But at the same time, we are at the end of the episode, so I, I am not going to drag this episode on too long, and I, I will just do a protective stance and go for 79. Fair enough. It's a... Uh, I'd have liked to have played it, but... Oh my god, I killed so many of these guys. Oh uh, <laughs> god. I'm killing them because... Yeah, I just saw that. Yeah, ex there's... Execution. <sighs> yeah, they're, they are gone. Now we come back to Ambrakia. All nice and safe. Well, that was Mastodon's fault for doing that, and now we get rid of those mercenaries. <laughs> They're just not going to last. They can't replenish unless they get in encampment mode as well. Even that, uh, I don't think they can, can they? Can you yeah, they can replenish in encampment mode, but that's about it. Oh, yeah, yeah, probably. Even if you're in uh, enemy territory, you can do that. Yeah, it's very slow, but it can be done. It's a, I mean, you might, yeah, if you want to just, like, just top yourself up a little bit, then yeah, fair enough. That's quite overpowered, then. No, it's the same with all the Total Wars. It's a uh, way of getting through the winter. Yeah. Yeah, I get, unless, yeah, if you're not in a settlement. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Um, I've not really got any money, so I can't really do much. Just end the turn and see where it leaves us for the next episode. Yeah, uh, yeah, I will. I'll do that. Um, who's this guy? Is, oh, he's actually a general, so I'm just going to give this guy like a load of traits first. Um, yeah, have an age retinue. I don't want to promote you. I kind of just wanted to give him a spell, so it's just, his dynasty carried on, but I'd rather not. Hmm. I just realised, if I go to Empire, it's plus 15 loyalty, and I can still secure loyalty as well. Yeah, that's what... Yeah, I was just talking about... Oh, that requirements. Yeah. It requires you to have a lot of money, though. Um, anyway, I'm going to uh, end the turn, and we will then end the episode when we uh, get there. See what happens. Yeah. Hopefully, Mastodon doesn't try anything. Nope. Nope. They left Larissa alone, which is fine by me. Excellent. I'm just watching as like all these Athenian like spies just like go across the sea, and I'm like, I can't even attack you. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, okay. Oh, I just hate winter. With a pack. It's such. It's minus eighty percent on your income. It is just a. To like ha earn a respectable amount of uh, money, I'd have to own most of the map. Like through winter, to like still be earning like maybe a thousand five. Be okay, yeah. Yeah, and like still get because it's for three months as well. I mean, it probably affects all the. It obviously affects all the factions. Oh, they've like all their armies are pulling back. <laughs> yeah, they're going through my lands now. Yeah. Hopefully, once I take out the rebels, I can mop them up. Persia's also got a lot of fleets and armies just like lying around. Okay, okay, Rhodes is coming very near. I might be taking them on. Reading next games time. are being cancelled. Why? Oh <gasps> yeah, Kyrissa! Ah! You've got a, rebe a huge rebellion. Ah! No. Wow. At least you got that loyal general that's like, now I can take Andros back. <laughs> that really was not <laughs> the right comment to make. Oh gosh, you okay there, Scrim? Scrim's like, just gone. I'm brave. <laughs> well, this is fucking shit. Ah! Okay. I thought it was like 6% you said and like rebellion. Wow. Yep. Doesn't that, matter if it's six percent. Yeah. Still happens. Wow. That's just, it's all gone. Yeah, it's really unlucky. Okay. Right. I don't know what to do. <laughs> well, we'll uh, save it. Shall we save it for the next episode to see what you do? Yep. Yeah. Anyway, guys. On that note, that catastrophic note for Str uh, for Scrim. Um, we will leave it there. If you've enjoyed, please remember to like and subscribe. And until next time, guys, bye for now.